Good morning. We're on Don Outdoor Adventures out here in the woods on this property that I'm uh, allowed to hunt on, setting up an area so I can uh, set up my feeder and my uh, ground blind for a uh, bow hunt for uh, some of these big Kansas bucks and does. This year I'm going to set my blind up uh, in a different area, not too far away from where I was last year, but just at a different angle because I noticed that I was on a trail last time I had it set up. So this time I'm going to do a little different, something different, and uh, set it up away in the wood line. <clears throat> Hopefully they'll uh, be focused on the uh, feeder and the trail that I'm putting it on and uh, not me as so much. So I uh, did a little chopping away today. It's cloudy rainy almost chance for rain so i'm trying to do a little bit get out not smell up the area and uh set up my uh ground blind my camera and put some corn out i kind of show you how, what i'm uh working with out here the deer were coming from that area last time coming across and my blind was set up between them two trees over there and they always were hesitant when they came out of this area, they the feeder was right over there. They would stop and would be hesitant. So this time, I'm going to try to draw them out more to come out here on this little ridge line right here. My feeder is going to be set up right here on, on this little hill. And we got a trail going over there. Some more back over here. Hopefully, we can get them feeding in here. And they'll be set up on a little uh, plateau here small hill and i'm gonna be sitting over there by them trees right over there with my blind and hopefully i can get an angle shot coming straight across over this way so let's try to walk some of it i got my range fine but i'm gonna be sure the best way to get your true range is to walk it off if you ain't got a long distance and i'm only doing like 24 27 uh yards from where i'm at out here so Let's try to walk it off. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. And if you look right here, there's a big tracks of a deer. I don't know if it's a big doe, but they heavy. You see how it sunk in right here? And he was out here this morning because I can still move the dirt around like that. So he was out here this morning. I lost my count, but I'm <laughs> going back up a hill. And uh, this this area right here is kind of where I'm going to be set up with my ground blind. I cut some branches back right here off of this tree. So this area right here is where I'm going to be set up. And I'm going to be looking straight over there. They're going to be coming from there across. And hopefully right there where I got that clearing at, the big tree and that little tree right there, in between there is where I'm going to have to feed her. And hopefully, they'll be focused on getting out of the woods, going to that feeder, and won't pay any, pay no attention to me. Because I'm going to have this blocked in pretty good with cedar tree branches like I got here. And uh, hopefully, we'll be successful early before all this cold weather come in. Uh, I hope to have something on the ground by the end of uh, October. So I'm trying to get it done early and see what I can do here. But... Like I said, there's a lot of deer out over there. So is a nice pond for their water. They got grass. The only thing they don't have is a cornfield somewhere. So I'm providing corn, and hopefully that'll draw them into this area like it did last year. I had all kind of deer coming in, but I was trying to be picky and wait on that 14 pointer. But uh, this year, I'm out for meat. I'm trying to get meat for the freezer. I got college girls, so they're gonna be coming home for the holidays. So I'm going to try to get in and uh, get what I can get early. So we'll see you next time on Don Outdoor Adventures in the woods, getting ready for deer season. All right, we'll see you later.